share with you a vision of the future which offers hope. It is that we embark on a program to counter the awesome Soviet missile threat with measures that are defensive. Let us turn to the very strengths in technology that spawned our great industrial base and that have given us the quality of life we enjoy today. What if free people could live secure in the knowledge that their security did not rest upon the threat of instant U.S. retaliation to deter a Soviet attack, that we could intercept and destroy strategic ballistic missiles before they reached our own soil or that of our allies. I know this is a formidable technical task, one that may not be accomplished by the Victor Technologies, the high-flying hardware computer company which took a nosedive this year, may be bought out by the British firm Applied Computer Technologies. Piloting space shuttles were difficult to do, one would think. Can a, a, a kid or a normal person actually pull this off? Well, what I did when I designed this was I, I understood that problem. Uh, it seems the sweep of technology has no limits. San Francisco this week, the world's first robot bartender was unveiled. The robot can talk, can take smoke and waters, and can mix 200 different drinks. But on the first test run, the robot knocked a glass off the bar and onto the floor and poured beer all over the counter. The robot's designer said there were still some bugs that worked out.